Well, good morning. I hope your week's going well so far. I want to read from uh, Matthew chapter 28, where we've seen already that the Lord Jesus Christ has come into the world to be God with us. That was Matthew chapter 1. And then he's come and he's died for the sins of his people. And then he's risen again in Matthew 28. And then we just want to read uh, the last few verses from verse 16. Where after the resurrection, we hear, Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Put yourselves in the shoes of the disciples here. They've been through uh, an emotional roller coaster. They've uh, put their trust in this Jesus. They followed him and then they've seen him taken and crucified. Uh, they've all run away. And then they've all been restored in some way. Jesus has risen from the dead. They've found that to be true. Jesus has now taught them. And then he's going to go again. So what words of comfort does Jesus offer to these people? Well, what he says to them is, uh, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. The comfort for God's people who are confused and disturbed, uh, some uh, doubting. The comfort for them is that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to the Lord Jesus Christ. Proved by the fact that now he's risen from the dead, that there is no power great enough uh, to thwart his authority. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Let's just see three quick things that that means today. First of all, all authority has been given to him on heaven, in heaven and on earth. And so he is the object of uh, supreme, universal attention and worship. See how the disciples came to him uh, and worshipped. Well, it's not just a group of 11 disciples uh, and their friends who came with them who bow down and worship before Jesus Christ. All authority in heaven and on earth belongs to him. Every knee bows to him. He is the one who is to be worshipped. The comfort for God's people is that they can see him and worship him and focus their attention on him. He is the object of supreme universal attention. And it's him then who's the one who commands obedience. Authority belongs to him and so everyone must listen to him. There's two commands that uh, he issues. One is to go and make disciples. Make disciples. Tell others of Jesus so that they turn and put their trust in him. He tells us how we're to do it. First of all, we're to go. Actually reach these people and speak to them. Then we're to baptise, we're to uh, bring them into the fellowship of the church, mark them out as God's people, and then we're to teach them. And that goes on throughout their whole lives. We uh, show them more and more of what the Lord Jesus is like. But he also commands obedience to those who we teach, that they are to repent and turn from their sin and put their trust in him when they hear his teaching. It's the one who has all authority in heaven and on earth that issues those commands. But then the other comfort for us is that the one who has all authority in heaven and on earth is eternally alongside his people. He ends with these words, listen, I'm, I'm with you always to the end of the age. And so we have a big mission, overwhelmingly big, too big for us to be able to handle, that we are to go and tell the world of Jesus Christ, that we are to turn from our sin and put our trust in him. And call others to do the same. 
but the comfort for us in this confusing up and down world where the task ahead of us is bigger than we can handle is that the one who goes alongside us helping us all the way has all authority in heaven and on earth so keep going today keep trusting in him keep looking to him keep telling others of him and know that he's with you in all that you do